Uh, excuse me, sleepyhead. You just sleeping the day away in here? Don't you want to go outside and stretch your legs? I know, she's like, stop touching me. I gotta clean it every time you touch me there. Oh, there, you're okay. You too? You wanna go outside? Yeah, you'll, you'll run away. Don't think I don't know that. It's pretty chilly out here, you guys. <laughs> there, come on, nice white background. Nope, there it is. It's gonna do whatever it wants to do, because if I do this, it's gonna make me really dark. Because that's not so bad. Yeah, I had to swap out my hat for my toque because it's a little windy, which is making it extra chilly, but this is a beautiful little spot down here. I mentioned it once before in my 30 Days of Van Life video. Fish Creek Park. Very huge provincial park in the south in the southern part of the city that I live in. That I live in. I want to start getting used to saying, no, I don't live in that city. I live in my van and I don't belong to any city. <laughs> That's the dream. What's the matter, Penny? You didn't like the puppies? Come on, get the stink blown off you. She was out for a little bit and then jumped right back into the van. She's still in her harness and her lead. She's just hanging out here by the door watching. So I guess it's better than nothing for now. What's going on? Do you want to come out and see uh, the puppies? Come on. Oh, wow. That's JJ Abrams for days. Hi. You, you look very pretty in your harness. I know you hate it. But I have a feeling that dogs would be the least of your concern when you got off and just bolted out into the frickin' wilderness. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I mentioned it before, but I have to say it again. She is surprising me with how well she has adapted to this. I thought for sure she was going to be like just horrible, just crying all the time in here, wanting to get out, scratching the walls. And no, she's been just as good as Stella. You can, well, I shouldn't say she's been just as good as Stella. You can definitely tell that she feels a little more cooped up than Stella. Like Stella, where is Stella now? Is she still on the dash? Yeah. Oh no, she's fine. Hey, Stella. Hi. She's like, don't bother me, human. <laughs> there. Just had to give her a little kick in the butt and get her out into the sun. She seems to be doing a lot better now, eh, Pen? Look at this whole world for you to explore. Within reason. Me. <laughs> me. So it's kind of nice. Things are slowly starting to get together. Like last night, I cleared off this area. I had a basket here with a whole bunch of stuff that I just tossed in it. And I was using the bungee cords from the stove to hold the basket onto the shelf. And I just hated how it looked. It was so cluttered. Like this, which just, well, this is garbage. That's, well, that'll probably be what I eat for dinner. Left out like the last of the bread, make a nice sandwich. And this stuff, like once I find spots for that, that clutter will be gone and that just looks a lot nicer to me. And that's just one of those things where it's like slowly starting to come together. I could have planned and planned and I did plan and plan and try to, you know, size up the van and build exactly what I would need 
And now that I've been in it for an extended period of time, yeah, there's lots of things I didn't. I've mentioned before that it's like within days of being in here, I donated a couple huge garbage bags full of clothing and sweaters and jackets that there was just no point in having further leading into that minimalist lifestyle. And now I'm doing that with stuff in here. I get in these drawers and stuff like this utensil drawer is always one example. Like I, I'm one person, do I really need all of those utensils? And like this jet foil topper for my stove, probably not. Like that's for my little jet boil burner but i also have the big jet boil stove down here are you trying to get out now you trying to go back outside but like that's a drawer i need to go through and clean that up and then like i don't even want to still don't want to even talk about this drawer down here that's still very much the junk drawer i was in there last night and it's funny i'm just doing the same sort of thing that we all do when we look at a junk drawer well you never know I might need XYZ. So that thing is filled with XYZs. Other than like that, it's a slow process, but it's a fun process to sort of realize what I can live without. What I thought I would need, I can totally live without. That's been cool. If you're not gonna go out, then we may as well go maybe, I don't know, try to do laundry or something. I keep talking myself out of these pair of pants at Walmart. They're nice Wrangler branded cold weather pants. Whereas like all the pants that I have on like these jeans and all of my camel pants are just, they're just cargo material. This is usually just denim, right? Like pretty thin and winter is, is is on its way right so there's this pair of pants there that are quite nice but i keep talking myself out of them i think i may just have to pull the trigger on them tonight and say okay we've got a nice pair of warm pants to be outside in but it's also hard because i haven't done the winter yet so what if i get those pants and they're not good enough you know but I guess it's okay because it's all part of the learning experience. Why don't you just go outside? I know you want to so badly. You're just sitting there stirring. And there's lots that I still have to do. Like, uh, well, I, yeah, there's lots that I still have to do. Like I've got a, um, I'm not gonna pull it out right now, but I've got one of those emergency thermal blankets with the reflectics on one side. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on the vlog before, but what I want to do is measure, when the doors are closed, I want to measure this space where the windows are and cut that out of the blanket and then do the same thing at the back windows and then ha attach Velcro to the door and to the pieces of blanket that I cut so I could throw that up with the reflective side in and I'm, th I'm wondering how much heat that will help keep in the living space as the temperatures continue to drop. The diesel heater video still needs to get it. But if you do look at the state of this place right now, there's no room to move around. There's a fat cat in the way of exactly where I would need to be. Penny, this is all your fault. You apologize to YouTube. It's your fault that the diesel heater video hasn't gotten done. I'm just kidding. It's not your fault. I take it back. So those windows, I could just run the diesel heater all night and that's fine. It stays super nice and warm in here. And I'm, I am starting to get used to the noise that it makes. But the problem is, is that it, that will cut through diesel right especially if i'm running it on full blast what i'm trying to do is like get into a situation where i can run the heater for like half an hour at night right before i go to bed on like full blast and trap as much of that heat in this space as possible and i i have a very strong suspicion that i'm losing a lot of heat through the back windows and the side windows here my buddy jordan's probably like and your floor dummy but hot air rises so shush yeah that needs to get done i was thinking about doing that today but i kind of needed to go to a place where there's like a picnic table where i can lay the blanket out and cut it because i don't have my camping table with me mistakes were made we'll figure that out maybe you should go out maybe you should try putting stella outside i might try to get her out for a little bit just to get the stink blown off her not that they stink you guys you stink penny hey no you don't stink you smell so good and that's surprising maybe i should just do a whole video about the cats and the whole situation i haven't released the uh where like where their litter pan is like that whole little build video that's coming for sure it's gonna i'm gonna do a nice little like throwback style with that look look for that one let's get still outside and then figure out what we'll do with the rest of the day one laundromat that's pretty much the neighborhood I am most familiar with so we're gonna see they're open till seven it's quarter after four now I don't know how busy they are and I have no idea how much any of it costs I've got a little dish of change I'm sure I'm covered but uh, yeah this is a uh, you know <laughs> let's go get an education shall we it's not a very big load of laundry but I figured we may as well get this whole experience out of the way
So not too bad. That was um, 650 to do that small load. I mean, like there were, it had a towel in it and it's not completely dry, but that's okay. I'll hang it above the heater later tonight and that'll finish it off. Five bucks for the wash and then quarters, every quarter gets you five minutes. I don't know if that's average or not. That's my, that's my entry level now. So, and not too bad. They had uh, I Am Legend playing on the TV. So that was one way to kill the time. It's 25 minutes for the wash load and then however many quarters you put in, I went in for uh, half hour on the dryer because I did it for 20 and it wasn't quite done. Uh, but now it's much better. What? You can't possibly be hungry. There's plenty of food down there. Or did you just miss me? It's like, no, I'm a strong, independent cat. I didn't miss anything. Now I know the place and I know what to expect. It got busier uh, as the time went on. So I guess Sundays at about four o'clock is a good time to come. There was only like two or three people there when I left. It was close to like seven or eight. Pretty cool that we could do it. I definitely will let my load build up more because five bucks for that load. I feel like if I did, made it worth my while and then put the dryer stuff on for like a full hour, it might be better. You trying to get outside now? You don't want to go out earlier. Uh, really? Yeah. We need to go find a place for me to eat some dinner. Oh wait, I could just eat here. <laughs> Except we emptied the cooler today, didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah, all right. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that Walmart was a total bust. This is like my least favorite Walmart so far in the city, and it's the one that I always used to go to growing up. Uh, excuse me, light. Don't you know I'm trying to talk to people here? Um, it was a bust in terms of they didn't have the pants. Uh, they had one pair of the pants that I want, and they're way too big. But we did find. I'm going to see it very well right now. These skillet nochi, no boiling required. Now, I don't have a fan in here, but I have made popcorn with the door cracked, and these say that they only take five minutes to do, and I want something a little hot for dinner tonight. So we are gonna do that once we go find the actual Walmart that we will be staying at tonight, because oddly enough, this one, you're not allowed to, which is probably a good thing. There's a main road right there that probably just keep you up all night anyway. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Look at these two. <laughs> That's epic. That is a Mercedes Sprinter. And I love this. That's hilarious. Can you imagine if he was actually from Hawaii? I hope he's living in there. That's swing. I didn't want to get too creepy and peer too closely, but just looking through the windshield, you can see it's a camper van, which is awesome. Going into Superstore right now, I'm gonna pick up maybe a bag salad to go along with that nochi, and maybe some sauce, because I don't know. The instructions on the nochi say just, just eat it, but I'm sure it'd be delicious. But in my experience with nochi, sauce will definitely help. And then we'll go into Walmart. That is to say, I think I will make dinner first, because Walmart's open for like 11, even on Sundays. All right, let's, uh... let's go get some salad. Okay. <laughs> what was that? Okay, and we're back in the van. And we will make some nochi. And now we'll prefix this the same way I said, well, I didn't prefix, but I ended my tie rotation video. I can do this and I will be fine. If you do this without a ceiling fan, you'll die. Only I can do this without a ceiling fan. Just be smart whatever you're doing. So I'm assuming this skillet's gonna work just fine. And let me just grab a few things here. So we got Caesar salad and I picked up a rose sauce because I figured I'm gonna try the nochi without it first, but I didn't want to find myself between a rock and a hard place and no sauce. You know what I mean? I got one that's just, it's just cheese. It's a real cheese. Always makes me nervous when they have to clarify that for like the rest of the shit I've been eating my entire life. And then this one is cheddar and bacon, but it doesn't say real cheddar and bacon, so this is probably the shit I was just talking about. Cheddar and bacon, obviously. Let's use the cooler as a little prep station here. 
it's funny because I wanted to do like a whole thing with my first like cooked meal in the van after I got this after I get the ceiling fan installed I can still do that it'll still be right after the ceiling fans installed I'm just getting a little antsy although I have proven you can live without a ceiling fan for at least a month almost and it'll probably be over a month before I even get it. I don't know why I keep putting it off because you know what's gonna happen is I'll put it off I'll put it off put it off and it'll be the dead of winter and I will not want to be out cutting a hole in my roof and then I'll be screwed until spring but this is actually okay with the door right here that I'm gonna crack open and the two windows roll down a bit in the front I'm not concerned so what we'll do we'll crack that open just a bit right fresh air Bloop. preheat to medium high well you know I don't have a medium high setting. Why didn't they consider my van life when they were making these instructions? All right, let those brown up. Those are cooking, which is probably really loud because you're right next to the pan. Mix the salad up without dirtying too many dishes. Ooh, this is looking pretty good too, not gonna lie. Some of them are a little well done. I don't know how that happened. Oh, so, oh yeah, there comes the cheese. Almost. <laughs> Would have been real hot. Oh. Not bad. And they're fine without any sauce. I mean, I might still put some on there, but. A little no cheese? Why not? All right, we're just gonna do it because we bought it, so. Yeah. Oh, and let's not forget we have salad. Caesar salad. Healthy! In case you're new to the channel, this is my newest favorite salt pepper mix. It's been going on everything from my bacon and eggs in the summer when I was camping to uh, my sandwiches as of late. So not as crispy anymore, but ooh, that's all I ever wanted. Just a nice hot meal and lucky. Ow. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm happy. Very happy with this. I think the key is, I just can't do anything that would take too long. Because the issue isn't the food cooking. Like, I know how to control, like, splatter and stuff. That's not the issue. The issue is the propane, right? Propane off-gassing while it's burning and, and whatever. But stuff that takes five minutes shouldn't be a problem. That being said, even if it does take longer, if it's right next to the door like this, like, you use your Mr. Buddy and stuff, like... I'm probably just being paranoid. There's nothing on my fork just there. And there you go. Everything's clean and put away. Just a little bit of water and vinegar. Everything done. That was delicious. Uh, I'm a fan of those. And they're like four bucks, five bucks, I think, for a bag. And technically, you could feed two people with one of those bags and like a few other sides. And that would make a great meal. So, yeah. Olivieri, how do you say the brand? I think that's it. Nailed it. So, yeah. Now... Everything is clean, our belly is full, our door won't close. It's going in here. Aha! Well, let's go buy some pants. You wanna know the saddest part about all this? As good as that meal was, I totally forgot that I bought these breadsticks to go with it. Cause I mean, Italian basically, right? We had nochi and Caesar salad. You gotta have breadsticks. I'm very disappointed with myself. They'd be better warmed up. When you're undecided, try it on. It's not my advice, it's just smart. I got it. I don't know. That was one of those things where I'd, I'd been in there looking at them uh, yesterday and well now I just couldn't make a decision because it's like 
you know, instant buyer's remorse and stuff, but you know what? It's fine. These are good. These are like my only pair of pants that aren't like joggers that are nice and warm for outside. So it's fine. We'll take these and we will swap out and another pair of pants that I just don't wear that often. We will make another donation bag. That's it for this one, guys. Um, this was a simple one. I'm kind of liking just uh, having you hang out with me on my day. And if you stay to the end, thank you very much. If you can see me, there's a light. If you stay to the end, thank you very much. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. We would absolutely love to have you here. Like, comment, share the video. All that stuff will greatly help me out. And yeah, until the next one, guys, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves, and most importantly, just be positive. Now, I am going to climb in here, turn on the heater, probably make a hot chocolate if I'm being completely honest. And I don't know, maybe watch a movie, maybe do some organization, maybe play some video games. I don't know. I'm going to take it easy. It's early. I'm going home. But for now, you guys can't come with me. I'll see you later.